Uh, and these the guys. Well, they they the guys. We have a big news to share with you. But you have to wait till the end of the video to hear it. It was a great feeling this week to finally start doing some painting. So engine room done, build done. Next, it's time for the workshop and the bathroom. We've primed and top coated the head. A sanding all with the brush bit on the drill. On the point that you see there is a point where peel off. Eh? Okay, first primer coat on the bathroom, but... And the top coat, woohoo! There's the rack ready for the wet weather gear. I'm inside to the bath of uh, sitting and be. And many people they pose the question, why you want to have one bath? Why you do a stupid bath? First thing, watch. You can uh, swim inside to this bath, uh, all family. You can stay inside with the dog, with the wife uh, and three kids. But, uh, 2,000 liter water for filling this bath. Why we, uh, we need one bath? For store at the sale. Selling MV, uh, Yacht uh, MV, have uh, Six Jenaker, uh, we never managed to transport all Jenaker, but maybe two Jenaker, one spare uh, jib, and the delivery may say they can stay inside here. And when we bring inside from the hatch to the toilet, uh, the spinnaker, the Jenaker, and we bring inside wet, because sometimes finish on the water, we can throw directly on the top to the bath, and all uh, Moisture, all the water stay here. Another important thing, and now this is very exciting to show to you. This is the original rake for 24 crew members of MV when she do it Sydney Hobart for three times. We got to put here like this. Okay, I got to screw it. And here we have all the weather gear. And when you finish your wash, you can hang in your wet weather gear and your uh, uh, life jacket. Wait, can we finish the making of? Done. That is the position we have to do with another one on the middle. And we have uno, due, tre, quattro, cinque, sei, sette, otto, nove, dieci, undici, dodici, tredici, quattordici, quindici, sedici, diciassette, diciotto. 18, 18 support for weather gear. I have to rebuild in carbon fiber more light. Eh? Couple of one to the one, uh, oh, plenty have to be it. One, two, three, babe. This is uh, nice. Thank you. And the workshop, we've also primed and painted. And Timo's had fun installing this rubber countertop. Strong workshop, come on, to be strong. Cos'è roba? Così è che si svolge un detto. All this work means we're at the stage where money is flying out the window. Madonna, how much money, eh? What have you got there, Nemo? You got my credit card? What are you gonna buy with it, Nemo? Some more Lego? It's a good idea, isn't it? 
so we're doing a lot of trips into town to get new material. And as if we didn't have enough to do, we were unfortunately informed we had to leave our house. So we had a mad rush to pack up our lives and all the boat gear that we'd been storing, including the 16 sails, the stove, the winches, the beds, all the safety gear, the fuel and water tanks, even the floorboards. Ah! Ok, team and solo, we transport uh, the third load of stuff, eh? the car is full, eh? the pickup is full also on the back. Eh? Goodbye house, goodbye garden. We're going to our new house solo. Find one apartment in residence here in Anchorage. Super nice Anchorage, and uh, yeah, it's not so far away from the marina. We can go also directly by walk from the sugarcane uh, truck uh, rail. But uh, it's a good, it's a nice uh, apartment. Uh, the cost is a little bit uh, too much expensive, but it's okay, we have to go. And uh, we have aircon, uh, all inclusive. And uh, the good thing, uh, there is a swimming pool. The bad thing, uh, solo have to live in the apartment. Uh, solo, you are happy in the apartment? No really, eh? no really. Well, but it's okay, we are, we continue it. Ciao. But every cloud has a silver lining, as they say. And this meant that we ended up moving into a lovely place with a sea view for our final few months here in Fiji. Hi there. Wow, sir. <laughs> Looks like to be in vacation. And now everyone else so nice in Fiji. Yeah. And? Also solo got to be happy outside on the terrace. Oh. Yeah, wait. Uh. But along with this bad news came some really great news. And a few weeks ago, a couple of strangers got in touch with us and offered to come and spend a few months helping us get the boat finished. We go in the airport to take our last crew member. And these the guys. What? Wow, they're the guys. What is Mark? Eccolo. Wow. Fine. Give me the eye. What is the name? I don't know. You have to match, macho, Marco. Or... Macho. 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 Fuck out, Macho, you are a whole told. Ciao, Macho. Ciao. Yes, how are you? How are you? How are you? Welcome in Fiji. Thank how you are so you? Much. Uh, we have one dog on the car. Ah, he's a naughty boy. He's a... No okay. He's arrived, Matei. Thank you to come. I'm very happy. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, Sorry, it's very naughty, but <laughs> now I start to chew you a lot. Okay. You pinch the nose. Okay. We're lucky enough to have these two guys that very kindly come to help us. Here we have uh, Lars and Mattei. So it's Lars who's Dutch but lives in Switzerland and Mattei who's from Slovakia and been um, living in Australia. I was always interested, been always been interested in boats and sailing and all those things. So I started to follow the YouTube channel and I was like, you know, I had a chance, I had time and I felt like maybe I can help. So we contacted and then we worked out something in two weeks very quickly. And here I am. Yeah. And this is a new adventure. Yeah, Thank they both that. turned up super quickly, I think, well, from, from like having a... I'm getting in contact with you being here is yeah, maximum two weeks, yeah. if not less. 
And what about did you you and you've just started sailing a bit in Australia, huh? Yeah, basically I know nothing about boats, but I'm here to learn and help. And the reason why I'm here is I'm just looking for an adventure. So look what Mate made this morning. The new chef, of course, the best chef is the no, Italian chef, but this is Mate's. Uh, bravo, Mate! I was bravo. just following Timo's instructions. So. Yeah, amazing. so have a nice breakfast. Yeah. yeah. Having these extra pairs of hands is a huge help for us. Thanks so much, guys. I go to sign the position, I last, go to drill. Some presents for us from Australia. I have to say thank you to Andrew. He gave to me one uh, new phone uh, because last one I lost on the paddle, and uh, it's very helpful for me. Thank you so much, yeah, Andrew. Thank you. It's very kind. Plus, uh, one uh, rigging company from uh, Australia. The name is uh, Diverse Yachting and Rigging. Diverse Rigging and Yachting, actually. It sent to us the new dog boon for our running best day, for the new modification of the mast. Yeah, thank you, Jason. Thank you, Jason. This is very helpful for us. You got to see in the next video. Thank you so much, Jason. Yeah, Andrew. And the bar that fits in our mast to go with a hydraulic jack arrived by sea. Here comes the bar for our mast that goes with the hydraulic jack. Thank you, Dazzler. This new friend, uh, Dazzler, they sailing from New Zealand with our uh, bar, with our, uh, our uh, rod. Uh, the hijack rod is very heavy stuff. Ah, wow! Thank you so much. It's beautiful parts. How are we going to try to fit inside to the mast? Huh? It's not uh, only thank you like this. Uh, we have to really have one up, but maybe not too tight. No, that, then that's fine. We just got in. We're going to go eat. Okay, so now it's time for our announcement. Our big news is, um, is a giveaway. And um, we want to announce that when we reach the first 10,000 subscribers, we would like to welcome uh, one of you to sail with us for a week. And if we're lucky enough to reach this number in time for the Masket Cove Regatta in September, you can come and join us for the race week. So please don't forget to like and subscribe and share the videos to help us reach this number. And we really enjoy hearing from you in the comments, your thoughts on the videos and what you'd like to hear more of. This is the idea where they decide to go out and to go in. And that's a good idea where we have to drill the hole for faster pipe to insulate in the workshop. is ready. Chris now is here. I got to stay with the engine when coming back forever to protect the engine. Oh, there's the dog. <laughs> Hello Solo.